REITs are today so cheap that some of them could double in 2024. And before you tell me that I'm getting ahead of myself here, you should consider that the last two times that REITs were this cheap, they more than doubled in value in the following years. After the crash of the great financial crisis, REITs nearly tripled in value in just two years. And following the crash of the pandemic, REITs more than doubled in just over one year. There's this famous saying that history doesn't repeat itself but it often rhythms and I think that once again we're gonna see quite a few REITs double in value in the coming years, possibly even next year. In today's video I want to talk to you about two specific REITs that I'm buying ahead of 2024. Hey, this is Yossi. I'm a CFA charter holder, but not a financial advisor. So make sure to do your own research. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about two specific REITs that we are buying ahead of 2024 because we think that they have the potential to double in value. Before I get into it, could you please do me a huge favor and click the like button of this video that really helped me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you so much in advance. So the first read here that I want to talk to you about is called Helios Towers. Its ticker symbol is HTWS. Lately, I've talked to you a lot about Crown Castle, which is a cell tower read and also one of my largest read investments. The cell tower sector is today out of favor and it's priced at a historically low valuation. In the past, Crown Castle has typically traded at 20 to 25 times FFO, but today trades at just half of that. The reason why there is no appetite for cell tower rates in today's market is because they are facing some temporary headwinds that will lead to slower than usual growth in the next two years. The slower growth coupled with higher interest rates has caused investors to run away from companies like Crown Castle, American Towers and SBA and as a result they are now priced at historically low valuation multiples. This brings me to Helios Towers, which is one of the leading landlords of cell towers in Africa. If REITs like Crown Castle are discounted, then you can imagine that Helios Towers would be even cheaper. After all, Crown Castle is a mega cap American REIT with an investment grade rated balance sheet, a blue chip reputation and a long track record of significant outperformance. Helios Towers on the other hand is a fairly small company. It's focusing on Africa and doesn't have a long track record to show investors. So if there's no appetite for Crown Castle, there sure won't be any for Helios Towers either. And this is well reflected in its very low valuation of just seven times its free cash flow. This very low valuation would imply that the company is facing some severe challenges, but in reality, it's actually doing really well. Just recently, they announced very strong first half results for 2023, and they also hiked their guidance for the full year. They are now guiding for 13% organic growth and they noted that their growth has never been as strong. So there's a clear disconnect between the fundamentals of the company and its market sentiment and I think that this is a great opportunity for investors. The demand for mobile data is booming in Africa, it's growing even far faster than in developed countries and this is a great opportunity for landlords like Helios Tower. But because there is no appetite for a small African cell tower landlord in today's market, it's priced at a very low valuation. But I think that this is about to change. Helios has a plan to improve its market sentiment and consists of three things. Firstly, it's going to reinforce its balance sheet. Already today, its leverage is actually lower than that of Crown Castle and American Tower, but it's going to deleverage further as it keeps on growing and uses all its retained cash flow to pay off debt. To date, its debt to EBITDA is about four and a half times and before the end of next year, they expect it to get it below four times. Then secondly, after that, they expect to potentially start buying back shares. Here's what the company CEO said about buybacks on a recent conference call. Buybacks at the current share price do make a lot of sense. We think it's highly undervalued and we'll be monitoring that over the short term period. And then thirdly, the company also expects to instate a dividend in the near term because currently it's retaining all of its cash flow to reinvest in growth and deleverage the balance sheet. But once they've deleveraged, they can finally start also paying a dividend. And I think that all of this combined together should be a very strong catalyst for the stock. Today, there is no appetite for the stock, but if now suddenly they have a stronger balance sheet, they're buying back shares, they instate a dividend, interest rates return to lower levels, and perhaps the market sentiment for rates and sell tower rates specifically starts to improve, then we could see the share price of Helios Tower rise to much higher levels. Just a year from now, their debt to EBITDA is expected to be below four times, which is very conservative. And as they instate a dividend, if they set up a payout ratio at around 75%, that would result in a 10% dividend yield. 
I think that this would attract a lot of investors to the company because let's face it, how many REITs do you know that pays a 10% dividend yield, have organic growth prospects that surpass 10% per year, have a debt to EBITDA below four times, have strong secular growth prospects, and then finally on top of that, the management is buying back shares. I just don't know any other company that offers that today and even priced a two times higher share price, I would be interested to participate in this story. But here you need to consider that Helios is far safer than your typical African real estate investment and this is because of the following things. For one, nearly all of its rents are earned from multinational companies. For two, the rents are mostly in hard currencies such as the euro or the US dollar. For three, it's not exposed to one single African country, which could be very risky, but it's well diversified across the continent. And then fourth, it enjoys very strong secular tailwinds as the demand for mobile data in Africa is set to explode over the coming decade. And then finally, it has strong leases and its assets also enjoy significant lease up potential, which mitigates risks even further. So this is not like buying a portfolio of office buildings or strip centers in Africa. I think that cell towers are far more resilient and for this reason, such a large discount isn't warranted. I estimate its fair value at closer to 15 times FFO, which means it has more than 100% upside potential from today's share price. And I think that this upside could be realized fairly rapidly as the company improves its balance sheet, buys back shares, reinstates a dividend and the market sentiment for REITs recovers as interest rates return to lower levels in the coming years. And a final point I will add here is that I think that Helios would make a great buyout target also for global cell tower REIT like American Tower, which is today looking to grow in Africa. In their most recent earnings call, they said that their fundamentals in Africa are the strongest they've ever been and they want to keep on growing there. Today, they could buy out Helios in a highly accretive transaction and it would still lead to significant upside for shareholders of Helios Tower. And then the second read I want to talk about is called Safe Hold, ticker symbol SAFE. I have previously described it as the king of all bets on lower interest rates. That's because it's the only read that specializes in ground leases, which are highly sensitive to interest rates. As a reminder here, ground leases are land investments by which the land is leased to a tenant for a very long time, typically up to 99 years. And then the tenant builds a property on top of the land and has control over it for the entire duration of the lease. This can be a win-win for both parties because the ground lease investor gets a very steady and reliable stream of income. And then once the lease expires, it also gets the property free of charge. Then the tenant, on the other hand, gets to control a property for a very long duration without having to put as much capital up front since it doesn't have to acquire the land. But the big downside of ground leases today is that their very long duration makes them highly sensitive to interest rates. When interest rates were declining in 2020 and 2021, the company's share price was surging and at one point it had even doubled our initial basis. But then when interest rates started surging, Safehold quickly turned from one of our best investments of all time into one of our worst. But now the trend appears to be turning again. Morgan Stanley, UBS, Deutsche Bank, Bank of America and many other major banks and investors like Bill Ackman are expecting significant rate cuts in 2024. This means that the narrative for safe hold is likely about to change. For the past two years, it was avoided by most investors because interest rates were surging and this caused its share price to crash to historically low levels. But now as interest rates begin to decline, we could see safe hold share price recover just as fast as it dropped. This means that the company's share price could rise by 100 to even 200% already in the near term. And the great thing about Safehold is that even if our timing is off and interest rates stay high for years to come, the company is in no rush. Its average debt to maturity is today 23 years and big portion of its debt won't expire before 30 to 50 years from now. In the meantime, its rents keep on growing by about 2% per year and most of its leases also have CPI look-back adjustments that could bump up its rent growth closer to 3% over the long run. So even if interest rates won't be cut before 2025, 2026 or even later, that is fine. The company has a strong balance sheet and it has time on its side. Finally, it's interesting to know that the CEO of the company is one of the biggest shareholders owning about 40 million worth of stock. And despite having so much skin in the game, he's been buying a lot more shares in 2023. 
He knows best what's the fair value of its stock and as interest rates return to lower levels in 2024, it wouldn't surprise me at all if the share price of Safehold doubles from here. But Helios Towers and Safehold are really just two examples among many other REITs that have the potential to double in the coming years. If you want to access my entire real money REIT portfolio, feel free to join High Yield Landlord, which is my REIT newsletter for a two week free trial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. We are currently also offering a Christmas sale, so if you're looking to build your REIT investments in 2024, now is a great time to join the service. And then finally, once more, if you could please click the like button, that really helped me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you so much for your support and see you at my next one. Bye bye.